There are a lot of reasons Denton County is one of the fastest growing communities in the country. Along with that growth comes responsibility. In Denton County, we want to take care of our own. My name is Allie Barnett. I am a site coordinator for Communities and Schools of North Texas at Killo High School in Louisville. I had a student come to me and she said, Miss, I don't know how I'm going to walk home today because it's raining and my shoes are broken and I don't have an umbrella. It was cold outside and it was pouring rain and so when I was able to just provide her with simple relief, then her smile came back and she was ready for another day the next day at school. These small obstacles turn into even bigger obstacles that are so hard for a 14-year-old to face on their own and that eventually they might not want to come to school because what's the point? What am I going to amount to anyways? We don't want to catch them when they're a senior skipping school ready to drop out and sabotage their entire future and maybe end up in jail or on the streets. We want to find these students in elementary school and provide support from all different angles. Without these resources, these kids would just be doing it on their own. When we are able to provide them with those resources, thanks to the funding that we get from United Way, it is an amazing feeling because we get to see the direct impact it has on these kids. We get to see results of how they are more successful in school and more prepared to have a successful future because their needs were met at school. I'm Laura Prowitz, and I'm the Deputy Director of Juvenile Probation. We work with kids from ages 10 to 17. You know, with a broken arm, you see it. You identify it, we can relate to it, there it is. But with a mental health issue, sometimes it looks like bad behavior. Sometimes it looks like experimentation with drugs and alcohol. Kids act out behaviors and acting out behaviors can be anything. That's why we have to really take the time to look beyond the behavior. If we just stay at the behavior, we're missing the point. We don't get direct United Way monies, but the agencies that we work with and refer to absolutely do get United Way funding. And it's crucial for them, and therefore it's crucial for us. And I think without United Way, a lot of these agencies wouldn't exist be a pretty sad picture. We have lots of families in Denton County that need help, and without United Way, they wouldn't be getting that. And if the families are not getting help, the children are not getting help. And they may have really bad behavior, and I think it's hard sometimes for us as a community to look at them and remember, these are just kids, and they're coming out of circumstances that they didn't have a choice in. Now, can they be held accountable for their behavior? Absolutely. But at the same time, they also need resources to rise above their situations. And so I think it's essential. My name is Chris Martin. I'm a veteran. After 30 years in the Army, I retired and am now the president of the Denton County Veterans Coalition. You know, your typical veteran, he's, he's a guy like me and you. You know, he doesn't do anything different, but sometimes he's got inside of him, you know, maybe some demons, things that are just there, things that he can't talk about with other people. Uh, some of these that manifest itself in post-traumatic stress. You know, I heard a story one time about a guy who received a letter from a, a young freshman in college, and she was writing an essay about veterans and how they react after war. And the guy wrote, you never forget what you did over there. You know, you never forget what you saw in combat. It never leaves you, it's always with you. It, it can be a very debilitating injury. It's an unseen injury, but it can be very debilitating. It can cost a guy, you know, his job. It can cost a guy his wife. It can cost a guy, you know, his home. And, and quite often may cost him all of these things at once. And sometimes it's overwhelming for a vet who needs help to try to find, you know, where to go. Where do you go to get the help you need? And so we serve as a gateway, working in conjunction with the United Way to bring all the agencies together that can provide help for vets. And, and it doesn't have to be a veterans only organization. I mean, the Salvation Army, for instance, helps us out. So all these types of agencies that the United Way has access to 
gives us that same access and we can partner together, work together to not only help vets get vet programs in place, but also to help the general population of Denton County. I'm Dave Barnett. I was born in Denton and have lived most of my life here in Denton County. We've all seen the explosive growth and now we see an unprecedented level of need. So what can you do? Give, advocate, volunteer. Every dollar you give stays right here in Denton County to help our neighbors have a better present and a brighter future. Please give today to United Way. Thank you.